In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how to add a property listing to Baby Does the Neighborhood. Let's take a look at one of our listings. Each listing features a picture gallery, property details, an area for a description, as long or as short as you need it to be, property features, a floor plan section, a place for video tours, Hi, I'm Bruce Michelle with Nest Seekers International. Map. Social sharing buttons. And listing agent contact information. Up here at the top. Complete with instant contact form. So to add a listing like the one you see here, you'll first need to register. You can do that by going to babydoesnyc.net and at the top of the website on every page there is a toolbar and in that toolbar you'll see this login slash register link. Now from here you can log in if you already have an account. If you don't have an account yet you'll need to click the blue register button and from here you can just fill in your information. along with your real estate broker license number. Then just hit register. Now at this point, you will receive two emails. One will have your password information, and the other is a welcome email with the next steps to take to adding your listing to Baby Does the Neighborhood. Let me show you what those look like. So this first email I received is my login information. And I'm not worried that you see my password here because after this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and delete this account. And the second email is a welcome message letting me know that my membership is active, confirming my name, my email, my membership level, expiration, and then the next steps with links to log in, add listing, and update my profile. Let me go ahead and log in. So now I'm signed in to Baby Does the Neighborhood. And I can tell that I'm signed in because at the top of the screen, the toolbar has changed. And now I have a submit button, my properties, and profile, which wasn't there before. If this is your first time using the site, I recommend you jump over to the profile and complete your profile information. You can add a profile image. and complete the rest of the information on the screen. As much as you would like to fill out. including links to your Twitter, your LinkedIn, and a short bio if you'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and save my changes. So now that I've updated my profile, I'm gonna go ahead and add my first listing. 
And I have some information on a demonstration listing off screen here that I'm just going to go ahead and paste in. to save time. In any of these drop down boxes, you can begin typing and it'll make it easier to make your selection. Especially under this main location drop down, as you can see, there's a lot of choices here. So as a shortcut, I can just start typing and then select the one I want. If you have a virtual tour link, it would go in this box right here. So for example, I'm gonna use this, this link to a video I found, and I'll put that in my, as my virtual tour. Now in this box, here's where you would add images. You can either select images and add them one at a time like this, or, you can just drag them over all at the same time if you have them ready. Just drag them over and drop them into that gray area there. And as you'll see, they'll begin to upload. And while those are uploading, I can go ahead and fill in some of this other information. I'm just going to pick some random features since this is a demonstration. Now down here, if you are adding this listing for yourself under your own name, you'll want to select my profile information so that your profile information that you just saw how to enter will show up along the right side of your listing, just like in the example I showed at the beginning of the video. And this option, in case you're wondering, is for agencies that have a number of agents so that they may assign a listing to a particular agent. Okay, it looks like my images have all uploaded. And if you make a mistake and need to remove one, you just click the little trash can and the star is to designate an image as a featured image. And that would be the images that you see in the search results on the site and on the home page, such as this one. This is the featured image. So you can actually select which image you want to show up in the search results or on the home page if your listing is featured. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one. And I think I'm ready to submit my listing. If there's any other information you'd like to add, but there are no entry boxes for, or there are no features, you can do so using this additional details entry box. And by using this plus, you can add as many extra details as you need. If you have a floor plan, this particular listing doesn't have one, but if you have one, you can go ahead and include it with your images, and we will make sure that your floor plan shows up in the floor plan section of your listing. So I think I'm ready to submit this listing. Let me just double check the information one more time. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. I'm gonna go ahead and click Submit Property. So at this stage, my property is submitted, but it's under pending status. 
and is waiting to be approved by a staff member at Baby Does the Neighborhood. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and get this listing approved and then show you what the listing looks like. Okay, we're back and my listing was approved. Let's take a look at it. Here are the pictures that I uploaded. The details that I entered, the property video. The map and everything else. So that is how to submit a listing with Baby Does the Neighborhood. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to the team. Our contact information is on the contact page. Here are our email addresses. And you can also send us a quick instant message if you prefer. Thank you for watching and I hope this has been helpful.